Hi everyone, welcome to our video on project structure and modules. In this video, we are going to learn how is our project structure in Suimu and how we can navigate with the modules and the packages. In the beginning, as you can see, this is our project structure and we have a move.toml file. So if you have used Rust, you would know cargo.toml file and it's very similar to that one. But even though if you don't know it, don't worry, it's really easy. What we have is first we have the package. In this package, we identify the name of this package and the version. So with this package, what we mean is that this whole project. And we also have the dependencies, and this will be the libraries that we are going to use in our project. And as you can see, the SUI already imported this SUI for us. And at the end, as you can see, we have framework and testnet. In this course, we are going to work with DevNet instead of testnet. So I'm going to change this to DevNet. And next, we have the addresses. And the addresses are like the dependencies and the libraries. So the, our package address is 0x0. But if we have SUI, let me show you, we would have 0x2, and this is the address of the SUI. So, and we have the standard library, which is 0x1, but we don't need to import this. We don't need to import anything in the addresses for the time being, but just know that importing these packages using the addresses which comes from the Moo language itself. We are not going to change anything for some time other than this DevNet here. So again, this is important, but we are not going to change this a lot. Next, we have the source folder. And as you can see, this is an empty folder. I'm going to go ahead and say new file. And my new file name will be my example. All right, now I have a file called myexample.moo. And here I'm going to say module example, my example. So what's happening here? First, we created a module and we need to say where this module comes from. First, we are going to say the package and then we are going to talk about the module that we are building. So for that reason, I created this example and then I put my module name. So this is a package that we are working with and then we have our module called my example. So this will be one module and you can think this as one smart contract. And I can have another module here. Let's say another module that move. And here I'm going to say module example, which is my package name. And then I'm going to say another module. So this will be my second module. And as you can see, they are in the same package. They are both in the example package, but they are different modules. That's why first we put the package and then we put the module so we can see where this module is coming from. And that's it. That's our project structure. Thank you very much for listening to me on this video. And I promise in the next video, we are going to start some coding. Till then, bye-bye.